family, what's going on? Klaus here and welcome back to our Town Hall 13 Farm to Max here on the Klaus Gaming YouTube channel, your source of Clash of Clans content, tips, tricks, and of course, entertainment. And by the way, if you like other games, then please do be sure to check out my second YouTube channel, Klaus Media. The link is in the description. But today is super exciting, guys, because it's... Tunnel 13 farm to max, but also, and this is, I think, the best part, and how often do I say that, and come to the builder base, this is super rare, but actually, the battle machine is maxed out. Now, for those of you that have been following along with me, you know what this means, and it's exciting. Check it out, guys. Finally, I get to upgrade the auto hut. And I don't know what happens next. Is it going to make me wait or not? No clue. So let's find out in three, two, one, bam. Guys, we've got two builders. Look, look, look. It shows two builders now. And done. Don't let the size fool you. He swings a hammer like a champ. That's hilarious. Well, then I'll pack some things. You can stay. Uh, you can get a place ready for me to stay. Um. What? What? What do I do now? I don't know what... I'm so confused. Okay, so I've got two builders now at uh, in my builder base. Cool. So I say now we bounce over here and see what... Oh! Guys, I get a new building! Oh, that's awesome! Guys, we're gonna start off this video getting the sixth builder. Oh, I'm so excited! I'm too excited! Let's put this guy right down here next to the other builder huts, okay? Ready? Three, two, one, bam. Okay, I'm not seeing a sixth builder still. What? What What do I do? Travel, okay, ready to travel. Oh, that's what I thought. Okay, so right now you can see that this one's showing two and the main village is showing five, but I don't want the builder to stay at the builder base. I want him to come to the main village because that's honestly where I'll use him. So let's just have him travel, shall we? Do you want to send the master builder to the home village now? Yes, yes I do. Bam, there we go. Awesome, so now, oh yes. Oh yes, look, it's the, the master builder is here. We've got six builders. Oh, this is great. <laughs> Oh, so let's start off this video right, guys. Let's first, let's take this gem box out of here. It's spawned in the middle of everything. And then I need to actually place the uh, the builder hut or whatever on this side. Um, here, I'm just going to have you put, put here, put there, just like so. Finish later. Very good. And once this uh, gem box is done, then I can switch over and we need to do a couple of upgrades. I'm going to actually start three upgrades today, but I've got to occupy two builders and then use a builder potion because my uh, my dis my royal champion has too long to go. So there we go. We're, we're good. Gem box is empty now. Let's go into the uh, progress base. We're going to put both of these army camps back. There you go. Very nice. Okay, and then now let's upgrade some gold stuff. First and foremost, the Giga Inferno. Okay, 12.8 million elixir. This is going to be level 4 out of 5. So one more level after this. 11 day, 4 hour upgrade in 3, 2, 1. Bam. Okay, and then the next thing will actually be the final barracks, guys. If you look, we've got three max barracks, and we're gonna about to get the fourth one going right here. So let's go ahead and do this. 4 million elixir, 7 day upgrade in 3, 2, 1. Bam. Oh, this is so gl this is glorious. This is just amazing. Okay, so barracks are done. We'll worry about the alignment of everything later. And now we need to get some upgrades going, or I'm sorry, get some uh, attacks in the books. And before that, we need to boost our builders. Oh, we've got six builders, guys. And in no time at all, this one will be available. And then we can either upgrade the RC again or what? I don't even know what we're going to do, but the, what we're definitely going to do is get some attacks in the books. We've been, dude, it's like a four minutes, five minutes into the video and we're just now getting around to doing the attacks. We had so much to do before we started recording, specifically because I had max gold. I didn't mention that, but that is the reality. But okay, so we got these, we got one of these horrible, horrible, Horrible ring bases. Hate them. Hate them so much. Hate them with a passion. Uh, so he here's what we're gonna do. Uh, we're gonna start out. Where are the sweepers? Sweepers are probably not gonna be a problem. All right. So queen, I need you to get out here. Put down a few more balloons. Seeking air mines. 
And um, honestly, whichever queen direct or whichever direction the queen wants to go, I'll let her go. So let's just see what she decides to do here. That balloon did just take out that mortar, so she may decide to go up just because of that reason. If one building and one troop is all we needed to make a funnel, that would be kind of cool. It looks like she's going to go up. So actually, let's go ahead and put down the wall wrecker, because the earlier the better, since it is kind of slow. And let's go ahead and put a P.E.K.K.A. on the other side to create a funnel. I'm going to save the king, though, for um, cleanup purposes, okay? So, queen, I'm going to need you to focus. <laughs> I need you to... I need to focus, queen! Come on! <laughs> Dang it! Alright, well, I've got the poison spell over the CC, and I've got the rage spell, so hopefully... We're still able to take out this enemy queen. Actually, you know what, king? King, I need you to get in there and handle the CC issue. Or, oh, actually, look at that. The king, um, I mean, the CC has taken care of everything. Wow. All right. Well, there we go. Queen's ability. Let's get a baby dragon out there for cleanup purposes. I think we actually have the funnel that we need to uh, get everything to go into the core here. So let's go bada bang just like so. That is a single. Oh, boy. Uh, that's a single targeting inferno. Killed our queen, our king, man. That's terrible. Let's drop a rage spell and a heal spell. And then um, I'm going to pop the warden's ability here in just a moment. Right there. Perfect. Cool. So we got the one star. We're about to get the two star once we actually do um, get the percentage. But overall, dude, I think this went pretty well. All things considered. I'm going to go ahead and clean up out here. We want to make sure we get that dark elixir out of that storage for sure. And it would be great if the hogs could clear up all the defenses out here, too, because I would like to get a better percentage than this. Actually, look at this. We got a whole bunch of air targeting or a bunch of ground targeting defenses all in one spot. This actually works out pretty well in my favor. Check this out, guys. Hogs going to clear up this entire section. Unfortunately, I don't think this Tesla is going to go down. That That's kind of a bummer, but, you know, it'll work out. Uh, we're going to get all this gold. Actually, dang it, stupid Tesla. <laughs> I wanted that gold. <laughs> Darn it! All right. Well, what about um, what about this elixir? No, Expo shot it down. Okay. Well, hey, sixty-five percent two-star. Not terrible, considering those ring bases are total and complete boogers. Total and complete boogers. So I'm gonna go ahead and clear that. Lots of loot, guys. We got lots and lots of loot that time. I'm um, gonna we'll go and request for some CC troops. And I guess now we have to wait. Yeah, we have to wait six plus minutes for my heroes to wake up. And then uh, we're ready to go out and wreck another base. Plus, I've got to wait. And the easy math here, okay? Easy math, because it's sped up the builder potion, speed this up by 10 times, right? So you take that five hours, multiply it by 60, because there's 60 minutes per hour. That's 300 minutes. 308 altogether. 307. 307 minutes. Divide that by 10, then that's actually 30 minutes to go. We got a long way to go before that builder is ready. So we might as well just keep doing attacks until then, right? So I'll be right back, guys, once my uh, army is ready to go, and we'll go out and snag some more loot. The army is ready, guys, and we've got about 12 minutes left on this boost for the Royal Champion. I did step out for a minute, you could tell, because the sun behind me is starting to set. So you'll probably notice that by the end of the video, the background will be darker. But that's, you know, that's just private eye stuff. That's like secret agent type stuff. If you notice that before I said something, you're a bomb. You're the bomb. 1990s reference. Anyway, so let's go. I just showed my age. Let's do this. Let's dominate a base. Let's go. All right. So, ooh, I've seen this base actually, or a similar base. I've seen a very similar base to this lately. Um, I'm thinking, I don't know. Part of me wants to go like from the south, um, but part of me also wants to kind of come from the. You know what? Yeah, let's come in from this side. Boom, boom. And boom. And I'm going to get an early rage spell on the queen because this is just a lot of stuff to have to deal with. Let's get a balloon going in on both sides too. Very good. So now with this direction of entry, the queen should be able to get to that air defense pretty quickly and also lure the CC. So this actually works very nicely. Um, rage spell and let's drop some poison. Yeah, look at that. So everybody's using witches these days. It's brutal, man. Brutal. Um, and actually, I just realized the queen cannot reach this inferno. So the, the, the inferno is going to nuke my poor healers. That's a bad thing. Uh, that's a terrible thing, actually. 
So, queen, could you, like, go for the, uh, town hall? Ooh, yeah, take out the enemy queen. Yeah, 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 boom. Take out the enemy queen, baby. Yeah. That worked out nicely. So the queen's gonna die now, but she did a lot of good things for that raid. All right, she did a lot of great things for that raid. She got rid of the enemy CC and the enemy queen, pulled out some, uh, some traps and stuff. I mean, it was, it was good. So now, let me see. Baby dragon on one side, pop that king's ability on accident. Don't tell anybody it was an accident, though. Let's, let's hope that everybody thinks that it was legit. Um, and now, let's just see what happens here. King, CC. Oh, no! Don't die, baby dragon! <laughs> so rough. Okay. And then, boom. This P.E.K.K.A. should be able to get this town hall down. I'm thinking. Come on. Come on. Yes. Very, very nice. All right, so... Uh, Hog, I would like for you to kind of run in and get the job done on this side of things. I'm gonna heal right over here, actually. Yeah, because I knew, I could tell! There was so many bad things going on on that side of the base. Alright, um, let's go. Ooh, that's a max royal champion that they're approaching right now. Yeah, I have a feeling that there's little to no chance that we're gonna be able to three-star this base. I mean, it was just a tricky design, and I, I liked it because of that reason. Like, the, like, whoever designed this base, whether it was Julian or somebody on the internet, could be either one. Uh, it's just, it's just kind of cool, you know? I like, I like bases that are different in some way. But, is there any smart way I could use this balloon here? I guess I could probably sniggle in here and maybe take out this wizard tower. Uh, what about the mortar, or I'm sorry, minion? Take out that right there, and potentially... This mortar? It's, it's probably, yeah, it's too close to the arch tower. Bummer. Ooh, and the balloon went down! Did not see that coming. Okay, and ooh, look at this minion. Wow, look at this minion by itself. That's what I'm saying, dude. I'm telling you, minions are the unsung heroes of Clash of Clans. I'm telling you, they're they're amazing. I love them. We need to all celebrate the minions all the time. We need to we need to Clash of Clans needs its own minion holiday, right? Because it's they're just so great. But I'm not getting very good percentages today, am I? Hmm. There may be a a need. Yeah, there may be a need to change it up a little bit, maybe change the army composition, maybe try out some other stuff, and uh, that's actually a really big part of why I wanted to upgrade the barracks, because now that these barracks are- this barracks is upgrading. Dude, straight up, I've only got- this is it. Once this is done, all the barracks are maxed out and we can finally start using yetis at full force. Actually, probably could already start doing that. So, you know, maybe next episode we'll change it up and try a brand new army composition. But guys, I'm gonna wait for one more army, okay? I'm going to start this up. I'm gonna um, wait for one more army whenever the heroes are awake, and then by then, after the attack, I think that the royal champion will be awake, and we can go out there. Actually, it's gonna take six, seven minutes or so, roughly, for the royal champion to wake up. And, let me see, the heroes are about five and a half. So I may just wait until everybody wakes up, and then go out and dominate one more base, and hopefully actually dominate it, because, to be honest with you, we haven't been doing all that well today. Thank you, Hoosier, for the CC. So I think that that's 30 seconds, guys. Uh, Royal Champion will be ready to go in 30 seconds, and everybody else is up and ready to go, and waiting on her to be done. So, let's go, Royal Champion. Maybe that's 30 seconds right there. I don't know, I, I, I get really confused on the math. Oh wow, no, that's, there's no way that that's, that's six, six seconds as of right there. There you go. Very nice. That, that ten times is actually way easier than like the Builder Base is eight times math. But there we go, so the Royal Champion is level nine. To go to level ten, it would be 168,000. Dark Elixir, which means I actually may not have the loot that I need to upgrade, excuse me. Uh, but there we go, um... Wow. I don't know about this, I don't know about this base. Alright, let's just try to, <laughs> let's just try to attack this base. I'm gonna come in from, uh, from the side with my Queen Walk, okay? Um, I'm gonna put the P.E.K.K.A. down here, obviously we need a bunch of balloons just kind of to search for seeking air mines and such. And maybe a king on this side, and a wizard, maybe a baby dragon on the corner. Very good. So now the idea will be to get the CC lured. Also, I'm going to drop a 
wall wrecker to go in and deal with that CC. So this is this should work out. Uh, King, you're losing your health though, buddy. I'm gonna go ahead and pop your ability right there to help you out. Very nice. Uh, let's um, EQ and freeze, and we get ourselves a CC now. There we go. CC and rage. Bam. And actually, the um, town hall should go down. Come on. Come on. Oh, the Pekka got distracted. Dang it. No. Come on, Pekka. You got this, bro. <laughs> Come on. Yes. Yes, the Pekka got it. Oh, glorious. All right, Hogs. I need you to get in there quickly now. Quickly now. Quickly now. All right, so... Queen, I need your help. Uh, let's heal. Please don't die, Queen. Oh, the Queen's gonna die. I didn't get in there fast enough. Blummer, all right? <laughs> Blummer. Oh, man. All right, well, Warden's ability. That'll be fine. Um, I've still got some cleanup that I could do. So, you know, minions over there. Um, still got the heal. I don't know. Put the heal right there, I guess. And then, um, I've been seeing in the comments a lot of people complaining because I popped the Royal Champion's ability too early. Because apparently she generates health or regenerates health. Didn't even know about that. So let's just, uh, let's just wait and see, shall we? Uh, Royal Champion, as soon as you start taking about half damn, half, uh, half hit points, okay? Right there. Ooh, wow, she actually does regenerate quite a bit of health. That, that was impressive. That was actually very impressive. Um... Yeah, that was that was awesome. All right, so um, I guess that's probably about it. So look at that, three attacks today. I think all within that sixty percent two star range. At least I'm two starring, right? At least I'm two star. But I'm not doing that well with percentage. I'm thinking about really seriously adjusting my army composition. But look at this, we're actually getting a free percentage point right there, and that actually makes a big difference. I mean, every percentage point up to seventy gives you that loot bonus and. That loot bonus is pretty big, honestly. So I'm just going to let this um, Archer Queen do her thing. Which flags is she sitting next to? Let me know in the comments if you know all five of those flags. Are there only five? Yeah, there's five flags. Yeah, let me know in the comments if you know your flags and if you know your geography. Okay? I know off the top of my head, I'm pretty confident in four of them. I'm just not sure about a, a fifth one. So there we go. <laughs> nice. So 6.7. Lots of Dark Elixir. Lots of Dark Elixir. Oh my goodness. Ah, we're at 156 already. Dang. Lots of Elixir. Lots of gold. Let's just, let's do this. I know I got lots of loot in my treasure. Let's collect all that and see where we stand. I have maxed out my Elixir. Oh my goodness. Okay. Um, let's go to the progress base real quick and see where we are. First, I do actually have now the Dark Elixir. I need to upgrade the Royal Champion once again. This is great because the next one will increase the ability. Oh, this is great. So what does that change? It increases the damage output and the health recovery. That is awesome because I do seem to recover a lot of health. More would be obviously helpful. So this is where the builder is going to go. And we have six builders now, dude. Have you realized that that's the truth? We have six builders. That's insane. Let's upgrade a few walls, okay? I've got at least one for elixir that will balance. Here, let's, let's just go ahead and do two with walls. Collect the treasury. That's not very much of it, but that's okay. Uh, we'll go ahead and use six wall rings. That's three walls in today's video so far. And how are my builders looking? Uh, oh, wow. Six, seven days until I have a builder? I did not, I did not plan that ahead very well. Um, I mean, I guess, I guess that's fine. It's not good, but it's fine. Um, I can, I can probably just, yeah. So I've got six days and this Royal Champion upgrade is four. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and use my loot, all of it on walls. I'm going to figure out where we stand here. Hold on. Okay, so how many walls do we have left? 43. We've done 57 walls altogether so far. That's over halfway, and now we're going to get to halfway there with the Royal Champion. According to levels, not necessarily according to the loot required to do the upgrades, but you understand what I mean. So, let's go ahead and upgrade this Royal Champion, guys. Level 10, 168,000 Dark Elixir, 4-day upgrade in 3, 2, 1, bam. And that is good stuff, guys. That is great stuff. Ooh, and I have a Book of Heroes. I guess I could have used the Book of Heroes. But I don't have the loot to do anything else. I already spent it all on walls. So either way, it's, it is what it is. So we're, we're past it. So, uh, guys, that is going to do it for me today in this episode of our, our uh, Tunnel 13 Farm to Max. I mean, progress abound. We get ourselves six 
builders now. I never thought that six builders would ever happen. And I realize that a lot of you guys have had the sixth builder for a long time, but I don't play builder base, okay? Just give me a break. But anyway, so six builders. Um, we got the um the stupid town hall inferno. What the heck is it called again? Giga Inferno, something like that. I think it's called the Giga Inferno. Yeah, Giga Inferno. Got that upgraded. That's awesome. And the final barracks. I mean, today was amazing. Plus, loads of walls. Progress was, was awesome today. Okay, so that's so yeah, that's it. Thank you so much for watching the video today, guys. Like the video if you liked it. Hit that subscribe button also if you haven't already for a daily game video. So join the hashtag Klaus family. Don't forget to ring the bell for notifications. Also, check out my second YouTube channel, Class Media. The link is in the description. And last, but certainly not least, please be sure that you're supporting a creator using the creator boost. If you don't know what that is or where to go, hit the gears button at the bottom right hand side of your screen, go to more settings and scroll to the very bottom. Under creator boost, you type in Klaus if you want to support me or support another content creator, find out their code and there you go. Boom, you're supporting that content creator. Also, uh, remember that it disappears every seven days. So what that means is always double check this before you make any in-game purchases. <sighs> Guys, that's all from me. Remember that I love each and every one of you, and I will see you all again next time.